Reuters. Bobby Fischer became America's first and only world chess champion in 1972 in a classic Cold War showdown against Russian Boris Spassky. He scooped the crown again in 1992 in Yugoslavia, also against Spassky, but this time the battle came with a price for Fischer. The contest put him on the U.S. wanted list for breaching economic sanctions against Belgrade for its war on breakaway republics. He vanished from view with the $3 million prize money and stayed that way until 2001. He finally re-emerged to praise the September 11th attacks on the U.S. and said in a radio interview he wanted to see his Native America wiped out. Fisher, who also stirred anger with anti-Semitic remarks, had his U.S. passport revoked two years later. He was granted Icelandic citizenship in March 2005 after eight months in detention in Japan fighting a U.S. deportation order. His death at the age of 64 comes after a life of controversy, hailed by many as an eccentric and by some chess experts as the greatest player of all time. Paul Chapman, Reuters.